Hi gorgeous, today I'm gonna be sharing with you my everyday skincare routine. I'm trying to keep it very simple so I can also follow the steps. I'm gonna show you what I'm using for the day and the night. It's very important to be consistent in taking care of your skin. It's gonna make a big difference. I have a skincare routine since I was a teenager and a lot of times I get asked what products I'm using because people are thinking that I am in my 20s and I'm not. I'm also gonna be showing you today some bonus items that I'm using a few times every month to achieve super glowy and hydrated skin because I have very dry skin. So let's start with my morning skincare routine and the very first product that I'm using in the morning is my cleanser. This one is by e.l.f. the bounce back gel cleanser with hydrating coconut. Before using this product I am brushing my teeth. The toothpaste can dry out the chin and the area around it. To prevent that use all of your skincare products after you brush your teeth. I have here a bowl of water. I want to show you how I'm using the jelly cleanser. Hair clips on. I'm applying now water on my face. <laughs> I know it's so messy. My bathroom doesn't have very good lighting. Oh no, I'm dripping water all over me. Now that my skin is fully, fully wet, I'm gonna take some of the gel cleanser. I want to show you exactly how much I'm using. It has a thicker consistency. It is like a gel and also it has a very light scent of coconut. I'm applying this all over the face and then with circular motions. I'm trying to remove all of the nighttime skincare products, the dust. I have rinsed off the gel cleanser and then with patting motions, I'm drying out the skin with a towel and try to find a soft towel for your face, not something like mine. This is, this is not very soft. I have been using this for about three months now and it doesn't irritate the skin. Also, the scent is so lightweight, you don't smell it on the face, it doesn't dry out to the skin and also it makes it smooth. I really like it, I have some more e.l.f. products to try, so you can see in a future video e.l.f. skincare products. Following that, I have here a serum. This one is by Medic 8 and it is the C Tetra Lux Lipid Vitamin C Enhanced Radiance Serum. This one can brighten and nourish your skin. On the packaging it says that you can use 8 drops of this one. I have tried that and it is clogging my pores. So now I'm using 5 sometimes six. The best way to apply a serum or a face oil is to apply this on the center of your palm and then take the product with your fingers and apply all over the face. So one, two, three, four, five. That's a lot for this product. It is a little bit heavier and after that with my fingers I'm not moving the product. I still keep it on the center of my palm and now I'm trying to distribute it on the face before it is absorbed. I'm trying to spread it now. I'm taking some product again and I'm dotting on the nose. Don't forget the nose. I was doing that for many, many years and my nose was always dry. And I was curious, why? Why is my foundation crusty around the nose? I wasn't using skincare. You need to love the nose as well. I still have some left for the neck. I need a dot for the neck, so we're going back. Boink. A dot is just enough product to apply on the neck. And you always want to apply all the skincare on the neck and decolletage as well if you're wearing something more revealing and you want hydration everywhere that the sun hits. This serum has a different consistency. It's not like a serum. It reminds a heavy face oil. Also, it has a very light orangey scent. You don't smell it on the face. It's not overpowering. About the packaging, when you have vitamin C serum products, you need a dark packaging so the vitamin C doesn't lose its power. Otherwise, it's not effective. Oh, I'm wrong. It says six drops, not eight. Okay, six is fine. <laughs> do what it says <laughs> and you need to apply this on clean skin so it can be absorbed and it can give all the goods to your skin. The reason that I apply only on the center of my palm is because I don't want the product to be absorbed 
from my palm all over the palm i have seen people you know blending the product all over the hand or doing something like this and then tapping on the face you you don't apply the product on your face it is on your hands so you're gonna have hydrated hands instead of face another serum that i really like but it is almost empty that's why i don't use it in this video it is by biosans this is the squalane copper peptide rapid plumping serum it is very hydrating i was using it in the winter and it was great for dry skin this is one of the products that i would purchase again and about the medic aid serum this is also very good for winter i don't see any dry patches because we still have very cold weather in germany it is like the second winter we don't even have spring and let's continue now with the eye cream we also need to apply products on the eyes this one is the glow recipe avocado melt retinol eye cream we have this beautiful jar here it's not so convenient to use so i don't want to touch the product so i'm always oops using this spatula here that is from another moisturizer that i'm gonna show you in the nighttime routine with my spatula i'm taking a small amount of this something like this you don't need a lot of product for your eyes and then i just apply this on my ring finger with the other ring finger i'm taking lightly some product and i'm tapping or you know applying very lightly on the under eye area i don't want to apply too much product on my eyes so i'm taking a small amount every time i'm blending this all over the eyelid and also the brow bone don't forget the outer corner and also the inner corner i still have some product left and let's go to the other eye the reason that i'm using the ring finger is because with this finger we don't apply so much pressure to the skin and the under eye area is very delicate the skin is thinner so you need to be more gentle i'm taking some more of this eye cream this one has a thicker consistency that's why you don't need so much product and it is so spreadable that it's gonna be a waste if you apply more product it is almost scentless you don't smell something avocado no this is not my favorite packaging for an eye cream it's not convenient before this one i was using this eye cream by svr laboratoire de dermatologique and this is a palpebral cream by top valis i'm not sure it contains hyaluronic acid and omega 369 you can use this on irritated eyelids it is an anti-itching and soothing cream so i really liked this one i was using it in the winter as well a lot more practical for an eye cream it is a squeezable tube also we have a very thin opening so you're not squeezing out a lot of product this is also one of the products that i'm going to repurchase i have started using eye creams when i was 25 years old i have seen a big difference i have one or two final lines more 10 years later my eyes are looking pretty much the same i highly recommend using eye creams i have seen some people using their face cream i think the face cream is very thick for the eyes don't skip on your eye cream let's go now to the next product this one is by aven it is the hydrans uv rich hydrating cream with spf 30 this is for dry to very dry and sensitive skin but they also have products for oily skin dehydrated normal skin so you can find the product for your skin type this is almost empty i'm trying to get the product in the opening i hope i don't have to cut open the packaging oh oh yes we have some product oops you see i don't have a lot <laughs> this one has a thicker consistency you need to be fast with this product because it can easily <laughs> peel off i know it sounds terrible but it is very soothing it doesn't have a very intense scent and i really dislike the scent on sunscreen products this one is perfect for me i have applied too much here so let's 
remove it. You need to be fast with the blending, otherwise it's gonna look like dried yogurt on your face. It gives a very light glow. It is that healthy glow that you want if your skin is super dry. I have used this with any foundation. It doesn't give a flashback or even if I don't have any foundation, it doesn't give me the ghostly color. This has been in my skincare favorites for about four years five years i have started using it when i had eczema around the eyes if you have very sensitive skin i highly recommend the aven products so you really need to use something with spf in the morning 30 and up so it can protect your skin the best way to prevent the creation of fine lines and the aging of your skin is to use something with spf you can also use a moisturizer and then a sunscreen I prefer using them in one product, that's why I'm using a moisturizing cream with SPF. Let's not forget about the lips, I'm going to apply the Extreme Care Hydrating Glossy Lip Balm by Essence. This is in the shade 2 Soft Peach, I also had this in the beginning of the video but it was removed. I like using a lip balm with a little bit of color for every day so I don't look very exhausted. This can hydrate your skin for a few hours. Of course, you need to reapply if you eat or drink water. It makes the lips super smooth. It gives a little bit of peachy color and I think it looks very nice without any makeup on. It is glossy as well and I love that. Oh, my hair nice fabulous i'm gonna do my makeup off camera actually i'm gonna film it for another video and then i will come back after a few hours to remove everything and show you my nighttime routine and also the bonus items yeah mm -hmm, mm -hmm. bonus bonus i'm back for the nighttime routine it's been almost six hours i have filmed two more videos now it's time to remove everything i did this green blue eye look i think it's very nice for spring I'm taking a tissue to remove the lipstick because I'm going to use a cleansing balm and I don't want the lipstick all over my face. I'm always starting with the eyes first and then with the rest of the face and I'm going to be using this eye makeup remover by L'Oreal and you need to shake this before you start using it and I'm going to apply some on these Nivea makeup wipes. The reason that I'm not using the cleansing balms on the eyes is because when the mascara is dissolved it creates a paste on the under eye area and the cleansing balms cannot remove it easily so i don't want to rub my eyes i'm using the eye makeup remover i'm taking this nivea makeup wipes you can also use cotton pads but you're gonna need more eye makeup remover this one is for waterproof makeup i'm using it with all of my mascaras even if they are not waterproof and I'm going to add some on the edge of this makeup wipe and now I'm pressing on my eye and I will let it like this for half a minute maybe so I can dissolve the mascara I don't want to wrap my eyes a lot I can see the mascara transferring on the makeup wipe but i still have mascara i'm going to apply some more on the other edge i look pretty and i'm going again on the lashes even though i'm pressing on the under eye area the mascara is not transferring on the skin i'm going now on the brows because today i have used something like a brow glue the catrice brow glue and it's not easily removed i don't want to remove my brow hair so it is best to soak the brows with the eye makeup remover i'm applying some more of the eye makeup remover then i'm going to the other eye for the rest of the face i like using cleansing balms or cleansing balms my favorite is this one by pharmacy it is the green clean makeup melt away cleansing balm i have also tried this one by mizon it is the cicaluronic cleansing balm this one irritates my eyes even when i don't apply it near the eyes so i stopped using it i really like the pharmacy and this is what i'm gonna use now it comes with a little spatula this tiny one here and i'm going to take 
this amount of product i'm scooping this on my fingers then i'm just distributing it all over my fingertips and now on my face and i'm starting with circular motions to melt the product into my foundation and all of the face products and i'm gonna need some more for the forehead i'm taking some more so basically i need one full scoop of this balm it has a very nice herbal scent it is so calming this product never irritated my skin don't forget the neck i can't talk when i'm removing product i'm going a little bit on the brows in case that i didn't remove everything this product doesn't irritate the skin around my eyes so if something goes there it's fine i am all foundation now i'm going to rinse everything off with water in the bathroom and i will come back <laughs> i have rinsed off the cleansing balm and i have no trace of makeup on my face the next step is toner and i'm using this by pixie it is a botanical collagen tonic it contains acacia collagen and the peptides it is a volumizing toner i'm going to apply some on a cotton pad i have seen some people applying with their hands but i think it's weird and it is absorbed by the hand oh my god my skin got so red because i'm doing a lot of things in front of the light this toner is great if you have dry skin i don't feel that it is drying out my skin it gives a very nice feeling this was sent to me by pixie in pr i have some more products to try from this line here it is alcohol free and great for all skin types you can use it daily after cleansing so after step one in the morning you can also use this one i just don't do it to not overcomplicate my skincare routine my mother keeps her toner in the fridge and it feels even better on the skin i always forget and i don't have mine in the fridge after toning the skin i like applying a serum and i'm going back to the serum that i used in the morning routine so i'm going to take again five drops <laughs> one two three four five and most likely i'm gonna use one more my skin feels now super smooth i don't like mixing my serums so i'm using the same one every day day and the night that means that i'm going to use it up faster but i prefer using one product that gives a beautiful glow let me know if you have a favorite skincare product what is your favorite skincare brand maybe after serum i'm gonna be using one of my favorite moisturizers at the moment and this one is by the brand pharmacy again it is the honey yellow ultra hydrating ceramide moisturizer we have a glass jar it is pretty heavy with product and this this one is a magnetic cup with a metallic spatula it is super convenient because you don't lose your spatula this way and i really love the scent of this product because it smells like honey i love honey scented products and with my spatula i'm going to take this much i'm taking the product from the spatula and i'm mixing it now i'm blending all over my face it glides smoothly on the skin because of the serum this moisturizer has a thicker consistency and it is very spreadable so you don't have to use a lot of product i'm also taking some on the neck i have been using it for about a month now i'm not sure if you can see how much product i used i really don't want to use it up but it is great this is also giving glow to the skin i really like it and it has a very soothing formula after removing my makeup i like applying this another moisturizing that i really like but now it is empty it is the bioma moisturizing gel cream this one contains a triceramide complex with niacinamide and green tea this moisturizer is great for your skin barrier i have used it after my skin was super irritated i want to show you a little bit the consistency yeah i don't have much left i'm so sad it is very very lightweight i love using this at night as well 
I'm going to repurchase it for sure because it is amazing. The only upside to this packaging is I can't see how much product is left. Also, it's not so easy to take it out because of the opening. I cannot cut open this box. This is the spatula that I was using for the morning routine to apply the eye cream and I'm going to clean it on a tissue and then I'm going to take the eye cream again. I'm taking this much. I'm going to apply it all over the eye. Again with tapping motions. Try to be gentle to your eyes. Sometimes I see people rubbing them don't do that and on the other eye and i still have some product left on my fingertip i'm going to apply it on the smile lines we also need to apply some moisturizing products on the lips and i'm going to be using the laneige sleeping care lip sleeping mask in chocolate i really really like this product it is super hydrating and this is how much i have used i have been using this for about five or six months and i haven't used half of it i'm applying this every night sometimes in the morning as well this is how much i'm gonna use it comes with this tiny spatula and i need the mirror i don't see it has a very nice scent and taste of chocolate so try to not eat it it looks like a lip gloss it is I think I applied a lot. I'm going to remove some. I'm cleaning the spatula right now so I don't forget. And it also has a little pouch so you can keep it in here and it doesn't get any dust. This sleeping mask is the reason that I have super smooth lips. It is the only product that I, I can say it is so nourishing. Now it's time for the bonus items and I have here the Fresh Sugar Strawberry Exfoliating Face Wash and also the Body Shop Himalayan Charcoal Purifying Glow Mask. I like using these for a spa day or a self-care day in the weekend so let's start with the exfoliator this can gently refine and soften your skin you need to apply it on wet skin to be able to dissolve it otherwise it has a thicker consistency it is a lot easier to use on wet skin it has a very light berry herbal scent it is so refreshing and super gentle on the skin it smells amazing <laughs> after the rinsing off the exfoliator your skin is super smooth it is so soft i love it after that i'm applying the mask i'm using a spatula to scoop out the product and then a mask brush by the body shop you can use any brush that you have or even your fingers you don't need to have a specific brush i have it because of advent calendars this one has an amazing herbal scent it is soothing refreshing this one is drying on the skin you can let it on you for about five to ten minutes i usually let it until it is completely dry and then i'm rinsing it off with a lot of water after that my skin is super super smooth i think it helps with the discolorations if you want to use this in the morning you can skip on cleanser use these and then continue with your serum and if you want to have a spa day at night you can remove your makeup and then apply this too if you keep being consistent with your skincare routine it's gonna do wonders for your skin and you can also find here my favorite hair care products 